transformation to a carbon neutral energy infrastructure in Germany will bring immense market opportunities for national as well as international companies and their new technologies and innovation. And the time to invest in Germany is now. It's one of the German government's top priorities, the transition to sustainable forms of energy. I am convinced that there is no contradiction between climate action and energy transition on the one side and economic prosperity in the medium and long run. Climate action and energy transition are not only sustainable, but are also business cases. Production, storage, distribution and efficient use. These are all lucrative market segments for international companies with energy solutions. Solar is back and the government has ambitious goals. Its target is a capacity of more than 200 gigawatts by 2030. To reach that goal, Germany will have to exploit unused surfaces, such as rooftops for solar panels. And innovative ideas for further photovoltaic locations are also needed. So-called agri-photovoltaics, for instance, use farmland for energy generation. The idea is to harvest both crops from the soil and energy from the sun. Trials are already underway near Lake Constance, supported by the Fraunhofer Institute for Solar Energy Systems, ISE, in Freiburg. One focus of the ISE is increasing the efficiency of solar cells. The Institute has set numerous records in the past. The aim is to raise efficiency to over 50%. The ISE is keen on getting its scientific breakthrough to the market. To that end, it's founded the spin-off, NextWave. The company develops and tests economic and sustainable processes for making ultra-thin, ultra-efficient green solar wafers. With our unique gas-to-wafer procedure, we reduce energy costs and CO2 emissions by 70% and overall production costs by one half. The transition to sustainable energy requires us to accelerate the expansion of our solar capacities. The solar industry needs to be brought back to Germany and Europe. Innovation is crucial to be able to compete globally. Germany as a solar energy location is on the cusp of a new era. One company profiting from Germany as an innovation and production location is British firm Oxford PV. It is constructing a facility in the eastern German city of Brandenburg an der Havel for manufacturing perovskite-based solar cells. So we've developed a solar cell and it looks like an ordinary solar cell, but we put a new material on called perovskite. And by combining a very thin layer of that perovskite material, onto an ordinary silicon solar cell, like you see, we boost the efficiency of that solar cell by more than 20%. That allows us to generate more energy from that solar cell. We intend to make a product that will accelerate the adoption of solar energy. Our technology came out of the University of Oxford, crafted from the UK, but we chose Germany as the place to demonstrate and scale to manufacturing. It's a perfect environment if you would want to have simultaneously good, talented engineering, talented operating staff, and of course, an environment that nurtures manufacturing. The second primary source of renewable energy in Germany is wind on land and at sea. The government wants to utilize 2% of Germany's surface area for onshore wind turbines. The targets for offshore wind farms are 30 gigawatts by 2030 and 70 gigawatts by 2045. The WAB, an innovation cluster and network of major wind energy players, is working towards these goals. The energy transition is in full swing in Germany, on land and at sea. With our 260 member companies and institutes, we at WAB are ready to help. The wind power, maritime and hydrogen economies will dovetail to ensure that we can make the energy transition a reality. International companies have maximized their opportunities in the expanding wind energy sector by joining networks like the WAB. Ørsted from Denmark operates a number of wind farms in the North Sea and has built up a workforce of more than 230 people at three locations in Germany. British company Octopus Energy 
is building two wind farms near Frankfurt and is expanding its German operations. Germany's role in the Octopus Group is a very central one. It is the biggest market in which we operate today. Um, and although there's been a lot of progress in the past in terms of building out renewables, we think there's still a huge way to go. So we're very excited about being in Germany and we think there's a lot we can do here over the next few years. The great challenge with solar and wind-generated energy is production fluctuation. The solution is storage and network technology that can compensate for the ups and downs. SmartWires optimizes existing electrical grids. It has been active in Germany for many years. Without networks, there will be no energy transition. And these networks need to be optimized to transport more and more electricity from renewable sources. Expansion takes a long time, and we haven't begun exploiting the full potential of our networks. Our company provides high-performance electronics. Our technology can be installed into the electrical grid, altering the flow so that far more renewably produced electricity can be received and transferred onward. Germany is the energy transition country. It invented the idea and is pushing it forward. For a company like ours from Silicon Valley, Germany is a major business location. Along with optimized networks, intelligent energy storage systems like those from Smart Power help to maximize the use of green energy and reduce costs. We plan intelligent commercial storage batteries that help to stabilize the grid. One concrete example is in the eastern German city of Eisenach. There we're building one of the largest batteries in Europe. It has a connected load of 60 megawatts and can utilize its full capacity in milliseconds. That helps cushion large fluctuations in the power grid. Energy can also be stored as hydrogen, another sector growing in importance. Technological developments in hydrogen as an energy carrier are very dynamic right now. Uses range from the decarbonization of industry to new transport solutions and business models. German companies hold the largest number of hydrogen patents in Europe. Worldwide, one in ten of those patents comes from Germany. With its unique national hydrogen strategy, the German government has pledged 9 billion euros to the technology. The goal by 2030 is to generate 10 gigawatts of electrolyzed hydrogen annually. To that end, hydrogen technologies are being tested out in what is known in Germany as the real laboratories of the energy transition. The Energiepark Bad Lauchstedt covers the entire green hydrogen value creation chain, from the production of green electricity to its transport, storage and use by consumers. We're building a wind farm, we're converting gas pipelines for 100% hydrogen, and we're constructing a storage facility. We're installing a 30 megawatt electrolyzer, capable of producing 2,200 tons a year. It will be offered to the chemicals industry in the region. But Germany will also need to import lots of green hydrogen from partner countries. The government and private industry have set up a number of liquefied natural gas terminals in record time. They'll be converted for hydrogen in the medium term. That's paved the way for a flourishing hydrogen economy in the future. International companies are getting in on the sector. Inapta, for example, has established a campus in the western German town of Saarbeck. It produces efficient, economical electrolyzers. So the plan for uh, our location at the Inapta campus is to have an innovative energy concept where we are only using locally sourced renewable energy to power the mass production of our AEM electrolyzers. And the benefit for the region is that we plan to hire over 300 new colleagues in our largest site to date. So in Germany, we can hire the skilled engineers that we need to scale up the production of our AEM electrolyzers, as well as the policy for green hydrogen is especially supportive to scale up. Germany Trade and Invest really supported us by helping us scout out the right location to build our Anapter campus. In addition to building out renewables, energy efficiency is at the core of the energy transition. It's often said that the cheapest and most environmentally friendly energy is the energy that you don't use in the first place. 
two crucial elements of the energy transition are energetic building renovation and heat pump technologies. By 2030, Germany wants 50% of heat production to be climate neutral. And as of 2024, it is targeting half a million newly installed heat pumps every year. Japanese company Daikin is helping Germany achieve these goals and is expanding production capacities in the country. We are producing and concentrating on developing and producing heat pumps. We have been investing in extending our production capacity in the whole of Europe. We have actually a policy, a manufacturing policy, saying we produce where we sell. Very important is the production site in Guglingen near Stuttgart. There we are expanding our production capacity. Last year we have actually tripled our production amount. This year we will even double and this will continue for the next few years. Sustainable energy production, storage, distribution and efficient use. All of these challenges also represent business opportunities. And these opportunities exist not just for firms already in Germany, but also for international companies that expand here. We at Germany Trade and Invest can help international companies to come to Germany and become part of the energy transition. Please get in touch with us.